Alright, so here in this video I'll be showing you how to install Fallout Script Extender, also known as FOSE for Fallout 3. To start off, you want to go to foscsilverlock.org, which will be linked down in the description below. Once you're on this page, you'll find a current beta version 1.3 v2. Under that will be a download link as seen on screen. Go ahead and click on the download link and it will then request you to save it onto your PC. Click on your downloads folder and click save. Now open up your downloads folder and you should see an FOSE.7z archive. You are going to need 7-zip for this step. Once you have 7-zip installed and set up correctly, all you have to do is then right click on the archive, go down to the 7-zip context menu and find extract to FOSE. Go ahead and click that and it will extract it into its own folder. Let's go ahead and open up that folder and within we'll see the FOSE files. Now keeping that folder open, we want to go ahead and open up our Steam, find follow three in our Steam library, right click, go to properties, go to the local files tab and go to browse local files. That will open up the follow three directory where you see the follow three and the follow launcher executables. So now with the FOSE folder and the follow three directory opened, all you want to do is highlight all the FOSE files and drag them over into the follow three directory, ensuring you don't drag it over top of one of the folders. And if it asks you to replace any files, just go ahead and click yes. And FOSE is now installed. One thing you are going to need to note is that you will have to launch the game through the FOSE loader from here on out. Now just to double check that file script extender is installed and working correctly, we want to launch the game through the FOSE loader and get to the main menu. Once on the main menu, hit the tilde key to open up the console and type get FOSE version and hit enter. Make sure there's no spaces. It should then pop up an FOSE version and if so, you have installed FOSE correctly. However, if you do not see that message, you have installed Fallout Script Extender incorrectly, or you did not launch it through the FOSE loader as required. If you're having any troubles, let me know down in the comment section below, and I will do my best to help you out as soon as possible. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please smack that like button down below, subscribe to Only Good Fight if you haven't already, and ring that bell icon to stay updated in all of my future videos. It'd be super greatly appreciated as always. And until next time, this is Epoxy, signing off.